Is things working? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh no, don't do that. Go over there. Wah! I was trying to do a thing and then I lost track of what I was trying to do. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh no. Ugh. That's my problem with the setup. Oh, that's right, I need to close Pokemon Go. <laughs> that's one of the things I was gonna do. <laughs> Otherwise, the Go Plus will just keep vibrating at me forever and ever and ever. It never stops. I have to take this thingy off. I don't know. It's not like I'm getting fit at this moment. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, it's alright. It doesn't look like there's anybody here yet, so I can be as disorganized and as much of a donk as I want to be because nobody knows. Nobody knows what I'm doing, but I guess if they watch the playback later, they might. Does anybody? Oh, yeah, Tash sometimes watches those. What? Ew. Oh, that, no, leave me alone. Yeah, leave. Leave me alone. I just want to tell Facebook that I'm going live, and it's like, hey, do you want to, like, connect to your WhatsApp? And I'm like, I don't have a WhatsApp. What's a WhatsApp? What's a what's a what's a WhatsApp? <laughs> Golly, so rude. And they're just going to keep bothering me to do the thingy. Oh, I see there's one viewer. Hello and welcome. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. I can put the trackpad down here for the moment at least. And this we can plop here. Ta da! Because <laughs> this is why we're here, right? This is what we want to see, right? Right? I guess I should tell this to do the thing so the camera don't turn off on me. Oh, the light's glaring on the box in a way I don't like. Eh. And there's no winning. There's no winning. It's just going to glare on my flap there. Well, I'll just hang out here and see if anybody comes along. There's not much point in opening packs until there's people here to see the fun. I could just hang out and read my book for a bit. <laughs> I got a new book recently. I got a lot, a bunch of new books. I got this book. It's called, Con I was about to say the author's name, Confessions by Kanai Minato. It's a, I guess a horror book, maybe thriller. I don't really know what category to put it in, but the little blurb on the back is fantastic. When Yuko Moriguchi's four-year-old daughter died at the middle school where she teaches, everyone thought it was a tragic accident. But now is the last day of term and Yuko's last day at work. She tells her students she's resigned because of what happened, but not for the reasons they think. Her daughter didn't die in an accident. Her daughter was killed by two pupils in the class. And before she leaves, she has a lesson to teach. But revenge has a way of spinning out of control, and Yuko's last lecture is only the start of the story. In this best-selling Japanese thriller of love, despair, and murder, everyone has a confession to make and no one will escape unharmed. So I saw that blurb on Amazon because they were like, you like Japanese horror books, um, we think you'd like this. But what's interesting is the part where it's like, Yuko's last lecture is only the start of the story. That didn't really register with me at the time when I was looking at it online. And when I started reading it, it's literally the teacher lecturing. Like, it's her speaking. It's like a, a transcription of the teacher. Um, so maybe at some point it switches some other kind of narrative or something, but I'm really interested to see where it goes. It's um not that long, only 234 pages. So, yeah. This ought to be fun. Shouldn't take long to get through. And this arrived in the mail today. Da 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 da. Wah. Well, you guys can't really see it that well on the screen. He. I'm trying to remember what that that first bit means. I think it's like Sadako, Sadako San, and the end of the world, or like Sadako at the end of the world or something. Anyways, I heard about it. Um, Suzuki Koji actually wrote the story for this, I believe. And it just looks like a super cute manga. Like... <laughs> Look at how cute that is! These two adorable little children's and their buddy Sadako. You know, just, 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 just vibing. They just, they're doing their thing. So, um, this ought to be fun to read later on. 
and we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, the best part of it is I got this off Amazon Japan. I think it was used for like under 100 yen. It was bonkers. The shipping cost more than the book did, basically. So I'm pretty happy. Um, and yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how I do at reading this. This is when I want to study Japanese, I just get manga in Japanese and read it because that's like, I don't know, it makes sense to me. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense to other people. Just like, you know, might as well uh, just hang out and learn that way. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -bum. I feel like it's just me talking into the void. Into the void! I need someone to come and interact with me. Interact with me. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Oh, God. <sighs> All right, well, we'll, we'll like that. I opened up Twitter and the first thing I see is a picture of Braish with baby Braish. Oh, so cute, but I wasn't expecting it. So it's just like, oh, God. Human faces. What's this? Oh, ooh. Just scroll it away. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be scrolling on Twitter. I was hoping to see some reactions out there. Hey! James and Dylan, welcome. Nice to see you guys. Yes, watashi ga kita. You did. Or tsuita in that case, right? Is it kita or tsuita? I always have trouble with the kanji that have different readings. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, now I see it's up to four viewers. Hooray, hooray. People to chat with, people to bounce words and things off of. Huzzah! Huzzah! Come and join us. We're gonna, we're gonna open a box. Well, not a, not a full box. Um, so for those of you who do not know what happened, I was in a 7-Eleven near my office buying some lunch, and I get to the register, and I see this off to the side, beside the register, and I was just like, do you have a limit on how many packs people can buy? Well, I think what I tried to say is, what's the limit? Ah, Tsuita is arrived. So then Kita is came? I came? I got here? I have... <laughs> I've been living here 11 years and Japanese still messes with me. But yeah, what I tried to ask the clerk at 7-Eleven was, what's the limit of packs per person? And I just could not get the words out. And the guy was just like, what? And I tried to be like, usually when you go to a store, you can only buy so many packs. But I still didn't know really how to say that in Japanese. And finally the guy's just like, oh, like, nanda moi kamo? And I'm just like, all right, this is mine then. Give me the box. Give me the box. It's not a complete box though. So this is one where we will do the shuffle because I haven't done it in a while. So let's just pop all the packs out of it and we'll just toss that somewhere in the background. Hey, it's a brace. I just saw your adorable picture on Twitter. <laughs> so we have two, four, six, eight, ten packs came out of the right side there. And then two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 14 packs on the other side. So we have 24 packs, not quite a full box, which is part of why I really suspect that there must have been a limit. And this one clerk just didn't know about it because like, why would you end up with a number like six packs missing unless there was something like a two pack per person limit, which is what most stores um, had where I encountered loose packs. Cause there's a Lawson's convenience store near one of my classrooms that had boxes too. They had at least two boxes I could see, but you were only allowed to buy two packs. Um, I opened those off camera and there wasn't anything in them, sadly. Look at that fantastic shuffling. 24 beautiful packs of Eevee Heroes. We're going to open these. We're going to open them and see what happens, because there could be something exciting in there. Who knows? It's also entirely possible that the people who bought the six packs that are missing got whatever the best pulls are already. But, you know, we'll see. It's worth a, worth a shot. And, I mean, these days being able to go out and just buy this many packs at price is amazing. You can't get any packs here. Oh man, yeah. Like, pretty much it's just luck. Like, you walk into a shop and you see them and you get them. Like, this same 7-Eleven, the other day I was in there and they had a box of Fusion Arts, but it was already completely empty. Um, so clearly someone came in and just scooped up whatever was there. Um, but yeah, like, to be able to just walk into a shop and just... Onigaishimasu. That's... That's pretty special. So even if we don't get anything from these, the fact that we didn't have to pay scalper prices is fantastic. We, we've already won. We've already won from that alone. But I think let's start with this first pack here. You know, actually, I'm just gonna shuffle 
them off to the side here. Let, maybe put them somewhere like that so you guys can see that they're there and I'm not doing anything funky. <laughs> not that I could afford to buy other packs to do anything suspicious, but you know, some people get that way. They'll be like, oh, it's, it's not on frame. You, you swapped something around there. Oh, shady dealings. Sometimes the internet can be a little a little dramatic. All right, what do we got here? We got a Goon Goon Shake. The Goon Goon Shake. Oh, it's that beautiful Voltorb. Just for you, Brace. Just because you showed up. You showed up and a Voltorb appeared. Next thing you know, an Electro's gonna appear. Um, oh, what is his name? Dupiter? I think so. I also like smelling burning which is kind of freaking me out but i keep hearing popping noises so i think someone's setting fireworks off outside i don't know if you guys can hear the popping or not but something with the smell it keeps throwing me off a little bit and i'm like did i put my incense in a place where it's lighting things on fire anyways this is a very cute sao sao meryl and we've got a hollow ante ball <laughs> oh dear oh dear i don't know what 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 the ball is but okay <laughs> Let's see. Oh, because Meryl is ball shaped. Oh my god. I'm a little slow these days. Um, we had a brilliant moment at work today where, um, well, the other day, I should start off first. The other two supervisors I work with were talking about how something was updated in one of our supervisor manuals and it kind of confused them and they realized like, oh, because they hadn't been doing certain paperwork right, they'd been kind of losing out on money for themselves. And I probably was too, because we didn't realize um, this one little thing had been changed and well not changed clarified I should say so I was looking through the manual to see if there's anything else that's being like clarified or updated and realized that since I started working here at the beginning of December I've been overworking on the regular because I misunderstood one of the things in how we schedule our hours and I was like I am so dumb I am so dumb <laughs> but I got lots of work done so yay but at least now now I know why I've been so tired. Hey, Jolteon V. I think we got Jolteon in my box too. Like I feel like I have two or three of <laughs> Jolteon V. <laughs> it must be fairly common, but that is quite nice. I do have a section of a binder, may become an entire binder someday, who knows, of just um, just Eevees. Just Eevees and the evolutions, because that's that's how I like it. How are we doing here? Are we kind of we're kind of organized. Yeah, you can see the the more exciting things at the bottom there quite clearly, right? I hope so. I hope you can see them and enjoy them. All right, let's chop this one open. Hooray! How's everybody doing out there? What's new and exciting in your lives? Not much going on here because apparently I've been overworking forever. <laughs> oh, I'm just tired all the time. So tired. I got a new tattoo. Oh. I got a tattoo, but I can't show it to you guys yet because it's under the sleeve, it's not healed, and this shirt, the sleeves don't really roll up anyways. But if you follow me on Twitter, you would have already seen a picture of it when it was fresh. It looks real ugly now because it's in the healing process. It's all peely and crusty and ugh looking. Because that's what they do. That's what they do. I'm also just a little bit concerned about it because um, she put that like second skin film over it and... It was holding liquid, like fluid under it, so I took it off a little bit early, um, and it took some skin off with it, so I'm a little bit worried about the healing process, but oof. Ah, you finished the sports day. The kids were happy. Nice. And you got the Yu-Gi-Oh game for your Switch. Very nice. Well done for both of you. And I've never been to an Undokai, because I've been doing the Eikaiwa thing this whole time, so I have no idea what an actual Undokai looks like. I'm imagining right now with COVID times, I'm not going to get to invited to any, but it looks like an interesting experience. Like it could be a lot of fun. We got, what is your name? Pangoro? I think, yeah. Pancham becomes Pangoro. Do Piter. Oh, and a Marshadow. Have you had a good week? Um, yeah, nah, I guess. Um, better than last week, but, uh, watch him. Who's it? What was I going to say? I potentially have two new teachers joining me. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Obviously, I can't say too, too much about these kinds of work-related things, but I may potentially have a full team again by the end of the month, which would take a lot of pressure off everybody. So I'm cautiously optimistic about that. I've gotten a lot of bike riding in, going to and from work, because the weather finally kind of stabilized a bit. Not too hot, not too cold, not too much rain. Knock wood. <laughs> 
Oh, not very exciting to be honest. Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh game, James? Well, that's too bad. That is too bad. Pikachu and you, Gimo. Gimo, Gimo, Gimo. Oh my glob. Oh my glob. I'm guessing if it's a Yu-Gi-Oh game, then it's like a card game. Because that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is, right? Or is it like an RPG kind of thing based on the anime or something? Just life. Aw. <laughs> life is not exciting. Ah. Yeah, especially these days. Like, there's not a lot. Well, depending on where you're at, there's not a lot to do. There's someone in my um, Pokemon Go Discord who lives in Europe, and they're just like, oh, like, I just went to Spain. I was just in this country, just in that country. And I'm like, the Europeans are just traveling all over Europe right now? Like, what the heck? And then I've seen some Americans traveling around a lot, too. And I'm just like, the pandemic's not over. It's not over yet. Oh, my gosh. You played through the TV show. It's decent. Oh, interesting. Interesting. There's a super cute meow. Yes. Uh, I want to say Sandy Gast. Oh. Oh. Hey, Glaceon. <laughs> Took me a second there to register what RR meant. I was like, oh. like I said, a little slow today. Yay, we've gotten two V cards so far. That's pretty good. Considering, like, like I said, we have no idea. Since it was an already open box with six packs removed, um, well, six packs sold, presumably, to a previous customer, we have no way of knowing what we could potentially get from this box. We could get nothing. So to already have two V cards, I am pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. Always nice to get something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bam. I was trying to think of, like, I mean... Was it shining diamond and something pearl, putrid pearl, whatever. Diamond and pearl are coming back soon, but um, I'm debating whether or not I should try playing Switch games until the new game comes out, or if I should buy a game to play, or if I should just wait. I think I should just wait. The diamond is over, but you only travel low risk countries, and if you're double vaccinated, it's not such free movement as such. It's controlled, huh? But still, the fact that people are traveling. In all case, you need to provide evidence of negative tests. Interesting. I mean, I hope for the sake of everyone here that that means we can start importing teachers soonish. But, like, it's weird because the vaccination is not 100% protection, right? Like, you can still get sick and die of COVID even if you got both vaccinations. So, ooh. It just kind of, I don't know, weird to me that people are traveling, but also that they want to travel. Like, I mean, I want to move around and do stuff too, but I'm like, I don't want to get into an enclosed space like a bus or an airplane with a whole bunch of strangers, especially since so people, so many people aren't wearing their masks properly and there is no way of knowing if they're vaccinated or not. Like even if they're checking for things like that, like it's not that hard to fake things, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't have a lot of faith in humanity. <laughs> Hopefully the camera's working good on the new games. I hope so. I'm not exactly sure how it all is going to look, but I will have some fun. Like, knife runners, the people in the UK are not double vaccinated or have underlying health conditions. Ah, okay, okay. It's impossible to know what's happening here because nothing's reported accurately, so. <laughs> I think there's an election cycle happening. I don't know, since I'm not allowed to vote, it's not really worth it to me to pay any attention to it. Um, there's another uncommon ball, but yeah. Basically, like, all before the Olympics, they were like, everything's fine, it's fine, it's fine, COVID's fine, we've got it under control. And then the numbers skyrocketed, and they were like, oh, surprise Pikachu face. And the Olympics ended, and they're like, yay, it's fine again, like, state of emergency, but it's fine, the numbers are fine, don't worry about it, we're in a state of emergency, but, you know, I can't remember if I did the pack trick or not, so I'm just going to do it again. Sorry for the COVID updates, haha, no worries. I mean, it's good to know what's going on. It's nice that some people are able to travel. Like, I try to be happy for other people. Ooh, hey! Umbreon! Yes! <gasps> of all the VMAXs, that's the one I wanted the most. Oh, it's so pretty! So pretty! My brain just lost. My brain just lost all thoughts. Look at him. Look at his round little toes. His little alien toes and his beautiful red eyes. Oh! Umbreon is definitely the best of the evolutions. Absolute best. Double jest, but high risk. What's wrong with it? Hey, I mean, to be high risk, but also have the vaccination, that's fantastic. That means, like, even though you're at high risk, you still have a good chance of survival. 
Nice hit. That's good. Toe beans. Yes, he totally has toe beans. All the beans. Oh, very happy already. I don't think it's a particularly valuable card, but like, like I said, I got this box at price, so everything from it is lucky to me. It's all a fantastic deal. This is all wonderful. Wonderful times. Don't think about price though, Sarah. That's not what matters. What matters is having fun. We have a wonderful Persian. We got a little Timpoli. Oh, we got a... Um, uh, no. Gossiflor becomes Eldegoss. Ha ha ha. Now you might survive, Jesus. <laughs> but that's how it goes. If you're like not vaccinated and get it, you have a way higher chance of dying. But if you're high risk and vaccinated, I think it almost kind of balances out. But I hope you don't get it to begin with, because that would suck. That would really, really suck. Ugh. It's also just baffling to me as I see all the people with the very young children and babies unmasked running around. And I'm like, they aren't vaccinated! They're not vaccinated and they put everything in their mouths. Oh god, oh god. Put them in bubbles. Put them, put the babies in hamster balls and roll them down the street. That would be fantastic. I would, I'd be quite happy with that. Soundproof hamster balls. Sound and smell-proof hamster balls, please. And they need to be absorbent so the, the, the fluids don't get out. I like my friends' babies, but in general, I don't like babies. <laughs> like, when my friends have babies, I'm genuinely happy and excited. Like, yay, cute baby. And then someone's like, do you want to hold the baby? And I'm like, no. 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 No, no, we'll, we'll hang out and talk when they're older, when they're like able to make conversation. <laughs> I leave the housewife to go to hospital appointment sometimes safe. Oh, that's, I like, I was gonna say that's good, but is it? Like, I'm glad that you're safe, but being in the house all the time, that's gotta be really hard. That's gotta be tough. I remember when I thought I was doing people a favor last year by going and walking around my neighborhood and taking lots and lots of Instagram stories to be like, look, you can feel like you're outside when you're in lockdown. I had some friends who were genuinely like, this is really nice. I appreciate it. But now I'm like, ooh, ooh, was I just being super obnoxious? Oh, so many conflicted feelings. Schmeargle. And we got another hollow. It's a Raichu. It's a Raichu. Choo-choo. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. I don't know why I'm always trying to turn things into a song. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. The weird voices and noises. <laughs> I try to be crazy without my internet. <laughs> I guess it depends too on what sort of things you're into. If you're mainly into like consuming content online or playing video games or being able to chat with friends over video chat or on the phone or whatever, then totally. For me, like I think I'd go crazy for a day. And then I'd remember I have a huge amount of crafting supplies and books, and I'd be okay. Like, I would certainly feel devastated for a bit, but I would get over it. And then I'd wonder how I ever lived this life where I can't function without checking my phone every, like, five minutes. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm really bad for that. All them things, right? All them things. Ha! Pia! That, that was much more violent than I intended it to be. All right, we got another Gibo friend. We got another Mudkip. We got a Pangoro, a Shmeargle, and another Hollow. Uh, what's your name? Swampert, is that it? I think so. <gasps> My brain can't do the stuff it opposed to do. It's broken. It's broken. Yeah. Nya, 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 nya. Huh. Well then, let's see what's here. We got a ribbon badge. We got a Zoroa. I want it in Pokemon Go now. Give it to me. It's so cute. We got the Meowth, who I wanted to call Schmeargo really bad there. Um, Indeedy and a Persian. Persian. I just crinkle things really loud and do it ASMR style. <laughs> I feel like I need a proper microphone to do that. I feel like this little headset isn't so good. And then you might notice it's dangling on the one side because this side no longer works, but I can't hear anything right now anyways. Like there's no music or anything to listen to. So 
It's mostly just to keep the microphone in a reasonable position to my face. Pan Cham and a snow badge. Snow badge. Well, we're doing, I think we're doing pretty good here. So far we've gotten two V, four hollows, and one V max. Like, that's pretty good, right? Like, it doesn't... I, I'm not getting any sort of a vibe like somebody specifically got the best packs and then put the rest of the box out. So, if we're lucky and the hit was near the bottom, or if they didn't specifically dig for packs, they just grabbed whatever was off the top, um, who knows? Who knows? It, uh, there, there's no there's no planning these things. There's no strategy. You just, you get what you get. You. We don't, we don't want to get him, right? We, we don't want him. I know that much. I know that much. I believe he haunted Taj. I didn't cut that pack very well. I had to chop it twice. Double chopped. Bam! All right. I'm having trouble remembering everybody's names. <laughs> Mawile. Uh, Impidimp. Gossifleur. And... Hey! We got the regular Umbreon V. Very nice. <gasps> oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, and 5-Ban. Well, well done, 5-Ban. You done good with this one. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't think I had the um, Umbreon before either. I'm gonna have to check my binder tomorrow. I have to do either tomorrow or Monday. I need to sit down and go through all the cards that are in my binders that I'm going to sell and start figuring out prices and start listing more things on Mercari because the stuff I have listed isn't moving. Like I had a couple people comment and be interested in some of the bigger items, like the bigger cost items, um, but then they never bought things or got back to me. So I'm like, it's just sitting there and I want it to sell and go away. But in the meantime, I should list and sell other things. It's a fashion mall. A mall for fashion. Fashion only. There's no food court in this mall, only fashion. There's no toilets in this mall, only fashion. Fashion only. Fashion mall. Sounds cursed. Imagine if there's a zombie apocalypse and you found yourself locked in the fashion mall. Like you sincerely thought like, oh yeah, a mall, that's the best place to be. And then you got in there and realized there's only fashion. Hey, Taj, welcome home from work. Otsukare-san, pull anything good yet? Um, we got an Umbreon VMAX, which for me is fantastic. Um, otherwise, we've gotten three Vs and what was it, four hollows? So doing pretty good considering there were only 24 packs in the box. Oh, I think Taj, Taj brought the luck with that. Don't know what it is, but um, let's put that there. Mawell is hiding something and we still got four more packs to go here. So I don't know what Mawell's hiding. I don't know if you guys saw what it said at the bottom there. I don't always look directly at, because the camera view on my phone is cropped on OBS. So when I'm looking at my phone camera, I might not necessarily have things centered properly for you guys in OBS. So maybe you didn't see the bottom of the card. Maybe it's a big surprise for you. But nobody, well, it could have been a two hit box and somebody got the other hit, but hey, hey, Espeon. <laughs> I feel like whoever took those six packs from the box didn't get anything. Oh, I feel bad for them now. Unless they had more than one box and emptied what was left of one box into another box. Sometimes shops do that. My goodness, I'm quite happy with this. I feel like I'm putting a good dent in the evolutions. At least the regular V cards. <gasps> Hooray! Sun and Moon badge. Ape a dimp! Pan Cham! See, now I'm excited. I just want to get to that last card. Mawile! Oh, and an Entei Hollow. We managed to double up on Entei Hollows somehow. <laughs> Alright, two more packs. Two more packs. Let's go. Let's go! Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I was, like, honestly not expecting to get anything from this. I was just happy to get a box at cost. So to see that there's something, to see that there's a big pull, well, at least a not actually big value, we don't care about that part, but like just the fact that there is an extra rare card in the box. It wasn't found before I got to it. That's pretty amazing. That's extra, super duper special. 
All right, last pack here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, excitement. Excitement. Hooray. Bam. Get out of here. All right, we got that Palo San by She Was O, which is amazing. Tim Pole. Meow. Feebas. And a Hollow Eldegoss. Man, I mean, just without even looking at what that last card is, we've gotten six hollows there. We doubled up on the Entes, but otherwise six hollows. And four V cards and one V Max. So maybe in those other six packs, they had the other V Max card. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's that's pretty fantastic. Have you joined the Gordy gang yet? I have not. But then again, I've only opened one box and all the like, random loose packs and things I had um, didn't have anything overly excited in them. All right, hashtag Gordy Gang in the house. Oh no, are you guys trying to curse me? Do you think it's Gordy? I mean, there's something behind this, Ma Wile. If you guys didn't see the bottom of the card, I'm not going to tell you what it said. Um, place your bets. What do you think it is? Is it a Pokemon? Is it a trainer? Is it an item? Do you think it's a rainbow rare? Do you think it's an alternate art? Do you think it's a full art? Poketage is the head boy. <laughs> oh man, the Gordy Pulling King pulled three from four boxes. <laughs> so are we saying this is not a Gordy then? Oh, I always get nervous when it's like this. Like I feel like I should just sit here a while. Like I was so excited to get to it and in such a rush and now I'm like, should we just sit here in suspense for a while and look at my ugly fingernails? Like, look at that. What the heck? The ridges on my thumbnails. Hope not. We're hoping it's not Gordy. Anybody else have any last second opinions? No? I say let's do a countdown, but you guys counting down in the chat would be delayed. <laughs> if I count down what you hear will be, well, no, you'll hear it in the real time. But if you tried to count down and I read it, it, w it won't work. All right. Let's see what it is. Let's just slide this up a little. Duck, 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 duck. It's a secret rare or super rare, depending on how you want to interpret that S. Tosh turned up and you pulled a Gordy. <laughs> Let's hope not. All right, all right, let's do it. Doom. Hey, Jolteon V, I'll take it. I will take it, it's not a Gordy. <laughs> That's all I needed was something that is not Gordy. Oh, I am very happy about that. I am happy to get something from this. I was not expecting to get anything from this box, honestly. Oh, oh, that background is really fun. Nice, thank ya. I am quite happy with that. Yes, I will take it. We have an electric theme going on here. Like the last box I opened, that um, fusion art box, we had the electric type full art trainer. I can't remember her name at all, but that's okay. Oh, actually, I remember when I pulled that, I think, Brace, you were saying that it was like one, like 18,000 yen or something. And I've been seeing it selling for like 8,000, well, listed for like 8,000 yen on um, Mercari. So it immediately went like in price. <laughs> the regular full arts in this set are beautiful. Yeah. It's one of those things like I would like to get all of them at some point and just like have a really nice EP binder. Oh. So, considering we only had, well, only had, we had 26, not a full box, but we have a Jolteon Full Art, we got an Umbreon VMAX, which I'm really happy about, we got V cards, Espeon, Umbreon, Glaceon, and Jolteon, and then for Hollows, we got Eldegoss, Swampert, Raichu, Marshadow, and two Entes, so... They came down quick, but it was on release day. Alessa has dropped as expected a week after launch. Yeah. I was kind of surprised, like, maybe because her pose isn't um, like it usually is on items I've seen with her. Although I think a lot of those might be fan-made items. <laughs> but I rarely see her in a not provocative looking manner. So I was kind of expecting her card to be a bit more exciting in that sense, I guess. And maybe be popular for a while because of that. But no, that's not bad to know. Oh, now what do I do? <gasps> There's always this moment where it's like, oh, I just like, that was only 30 minutes. That wasn't that much time. Well, not quite 30 minutes, but like 30-ish, you know? We haven't been hanging out that long. We could, I could do other things. What could I do? 